Welcome. In this video, we'll show you how to use the CargoWiz drag and drop load plan editor. We'll begin by creating a load plan automatically. And then go to the menu and open the drag and drop editor. Maybe we can improve the stability of the load by moving some cargo. First let's change the labels to descriptions to make it easier to see what we're doing. It only takes a click. With the mouse, I'll move some string instruments lower. The rubber band connector lines make it easy. Cargo snaps into place. The lines always connect to the nearest OK placement point. I'll show you a few more things. First, let's unload everything, which is done quickly with a special button. This is the stage area. Cargo is represented by these colored squares as tokens. It displays the number loaded and the number not loaded. You can drag cargo to the container. And in the same way, drag it back to the stage. Cargo can be turned horizontally or vertically by right clicking with the mouse on the cargo to see the options. Cargo can even be dropped straight down. When I move the cargo over the bed of the truck or container, the connector line shows exactly where it will fall. Let's look at some small cargo. We can manually load these, but this could be slow. There's over a thousand items. There's a faster way. By right clicking on the box, I can select the place more of these as a block option. And Cargo Wiz will do it for me automatically. Those low rows might be trouble. Let's make the wall flush. There's an option for that. Remove nearest of these. Then we'll continue on using the same more of these as block option. It loaded them all, but it left a partial row. Let's remove those last four, even up the row. And continue on. Here's cargo that seems to fit. Let's place more of these across and up. Then we'll do that again to create another wall. Repeating the simple methods will quickly produce a custom filled container. We hope you enjoy using this easy, intuitive drag-and-drop editor. Thank you, and goodbye.